caught on camera. A police chase ends with the suspect surrendering. Now the officer's response is under investigation. That suspect just appeared in a New Hampshire courtroom. And soon he'll be heading back to Massachusetts where this whole chase started. Our Anna Myler is live in Nashua this noon for us with more on what happened in court. Anna. Catherine Richard Simone waived extradition and he'll be heading back to Massachusetts where the high speed chase began to face charges of assault with a dangerous weapon and fleeing from police. Richard Simone appears in court to face a fugitive from justice charge after allegedly leading police on a two state chase ending in Nashua, New Hampshire. His left eye is visibly puffy, his ear bloody. Sky Eye caught his arrest on camera Wednesday. He appears to get out of his truck and lay on the ground. Then officers punch him repeatedly. He wasn't putting up a fight. He just he got out and, and they were, you know, they were attacking him and I don't know what he did. I obviously they weren't happy, but um, I mean, he wasn't fighting them, so it was a little bit much, I think. Police say Simone was wanted for crimes including assault with a dangerous weapon and failure to stop for police. Officers say they tried to pull Simone over in Holden, Massachusetts, Wednesday afternoon when he took off. Is that still your intention? Yes, sir. Simone waived extradition in court and will be returning to Massachusetts to face those charges. Meanwhile, Massachusetts and New Hampshire authorities are investigating the officers involved to determine if they used excessive force. But there was clearly a lot of force used in this arrest, and um, it's, uh, it, will, it will need to be reviewed. But what happened in those last seconds is going to be crucial to this investigation. Simone will be held without bail until he's picked up by Massachusetts authorities. New Hampshire's governor is calling for a full investigation of his arrest. Massachusetts State Police say they are reviewing the incident as well. Reporting live in Nashua, Anna Myler, WBZ News. Back to you, Chris and Catherine.